Hey, we are Jay and Dre, and this is our pup Guapo. A few years ago, we purchased our Airstream travel trailer and set out to live a more intentional life. We always wanted to live off the land and homestead our very own property, but we never thought it would happen so quickly. We just bought a property. We recently purchased 20 beautiful acres of raw land in the forest with big dreams of turning it into our own slice of paradise. But it's pretty obvious we have no clue what we're doing. Since neither of us have any experience with building or growing our own food, we invite you to join our community where we can all learn together. Good boy. You want to go inside? Uh, he wants to stay out here. Well, I guess we're not fixing the brakes today, huh? <laughs> They're never going to get fixed. Like, is that what's going to happen? Can't even get the uh, generator out. I have like a good snow skirt going on. A bunch of icicles I need to knock off. Winter is a time when life slows down. Our days are filled with stoking the fire, reading books, and if we're lucky, we get to make pizza. Our fellow off-grid friends, Jake and Amber, were kind enough to invite us to join them at a cabin in the woods. Living the way we do makes little vacations like this feel so special. Pizza there?
So what's up guys? So we got about four to five inches of snow yesterday and although it's not that bad to drive in, my neighbor does come up here all the time and we kind of had this agreement where he would leave me the keys to his ATV with the snow plow as long as, you know, we kept the road cleared. So I need to go, in, go into town anyways and we're getting more snow tomorrow and instead of letting it accumulate and uh, become more difficult, I think we're just gonna give it a quick plow and see how it goes. I've never plowed snow before, let alone on a quad, so this should be interesting. I have to actually drive up to my neighbor's parcel. If I were to walk, I guess I could walk, but it would just take a lot longer and it's a huge incline near the end, so. All right, well, we made it up to the neighbor's parcel, no problem. Just don't know if it's necessary to take the snow plow or not. And I'm already here. Morning guys. So yesterday was a crazy day. I needed to get up to my neighbor's property to go get his ATV with the plow on it. And the whole goal was to plow the roads all the way out so Andrea could actually get to work. So we were pretty nervous about, you know, even getting the truck down to the gate. Uh, luckily the truck did really well, went all the way through the gate, came back, made it all the way up to my neighbor's property to get the ATV plow and plow the road, which I thought would take me an hour, ended up taking me three hours. It was insane. I feel like all my hard work was for nothing because here we are with another six to seven inches of snow. It's almost like I didn't even plow the roads. Biggest concern is keeping our firewood dry. I have some stuff here that's pretty wet, just needs to be split and dried. I have a kind of a rotation system going on here where I bring in damp wood that's been sitting out and that hasn't been covered and I'll just split it, set it behind the wood stove, let it warm up and dry out and continue feeding the fire. Um, and then I'll just rotate it out with some uh, more wet wood and continue drying it out. But holy shit, this is insane. Just gotta take it in and enjoy this. I mean, look at the car. It is so beautiful out here. It really is. Winter Winter is really special. It's very humbling. Um, it's not to be taken lightly by any means, but definitely possible to live up here. We are experiencing the typical challenges you would expect. Everything freezes, so. I came out to get some more firewood. Guapo's doing his little potty break, and uh, let's get the stove going. It's time for coffee. Come on, bud, it's cold. Let's go. So it's crazy, I live close enough to my neighbor. Our parcels were once the same property before they were split. 
and we're probably within earshot of each other, you know, where the trailer is now. And you think, oh, he's not that far. I'll just hike up there. But holy shit, hiking through snow, it's like hiking through sand. It's just beautiful out here, though. And look at this view. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna hike up, get the ATV, get the plow set up. I start plowing. This will be my third time, so I'm getting a little bit of experience. What's up guys just wanted to check in with you this past week has been pretty crazy with the snow it has been non-stop we've maybe had like one or two days where it wasn't snowing i've plowed pretty much every day this whole week and my neighbor who owns the atv plow was up here yesterday with his family sledding and of course he did more plowing and the day before that he plowed as well but it just keeps snowing we're getting like six to twelve inches a night <laughs> look at this log dude it is insane out here right now, dude. My solar panel keeps getting covered. Shoveling is useless because it just gets covered up again. Same thing with our little deck right here. It's just insane. It's not snowing too hard. I don't mind the snow. I can't stand the wind. So at least it's not windy. It's not too cold. I'd say maybe uh, low 30s. Guapo, stay here. Guapo's going crazy over here. My neighbor brought his dog down to the bottom of the driveway, and of course he peed down there, marked his territory, and Guapo is not happy about it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna get some, I'm gonna collect some firewood, let Guapo do his business, and uh, then probably suit up and walk up to my neighbor's property, go get the snow plow. Whew, all right. So, got some food in the belly, and we're gonna hike up to the neighbor's parcel, get the ATV plow, and do some plowing. Should be fun. It's just crazy because he did it yesterday and it looks like he wasn't even here. I'm going to take a nice brisk walk through the snowy mountains. Every day got to remind myself how blessed we are and how thankful I am to be able to call this place home. I used to daydream at my miserable job. Just daydream about breaking away from society if possible. Went camping as much as I could. I used all my sick time just to go camping. <laughs> and now I get to live the camp life full time very blessed is it easy no it's definitely not easy I'd say mentally liberating physically demanding and I think there is an emotional aspect to it I mean, one of the biggest concerns jumping into this lifestyle was finances honestly Andrea has to commute an hour one way just to get to work and I picked up a couple of video gigs here and there but I've been trying to take a break so I can focus on the YouTube thing and really building our personal brand and showing our lifestyle and inspiring others to get out there and just be in nature, you know? So many varying degrees of living this way. It doesn't mean to just like go live off grid or buy an Airstream. It's not what it's about. What it's about is taking small baby steps towards self-reliance, independent free thinking. Absolutely beautiful. We got a hill, the beginning of our my neighbor's driveway slight incline and then near the top it gets really steep so oh shit look check it out two white tail so we'll get some plowing done today i think it's going to snow again on wednesday never stops i'm reaching the last little incline of the driveway so i'll strap you guys up show you my point of view and let's get some plowing done forgot about the atv being covered in snow Oh, f me. 